Hello, everyone. My name is Chen, and welcome to our presentation.、Um, today, I'm going to present our recent study about smartphone-based hearing tests for virtual hearing clinic influence of ambient noise on the absolute threshold and loudness scaling at home. As you all know, in a home environment, typically you have couldn't have a sound attenuated booth, and、um, um, it、uh, might have、uh, the ambient noise. And of course, the ambient noise might influence the results of the、uh, measurements.、Uh, for example, it can, might directly mask the test stimulus, and on the other hand, it can also distract the、uh, participants and make them lose their attention. Therefore, we might want to avoid、um, the negative influence of the ambient noise. So, from the earlier studies, we know that we can measure, monitor, and control it as、uh, the, the noise levels. And、uh, to to eliminate the influence,、uh, we propose our first research question: Is it feasible to perform smartphone-based hearing tests remotely at participants' homes if the background noise is considerably low? And the second research question would be: For the loudness scaling test, would be the influence be smaller at a higher loudness category? And、here are the here is the our experimental design. We、uh, perform we designed a repeated measure experiments in、uh, in fifteen subjects. So the subjects are required to、uh, repeatedly、uh, do the measurements、uh, in two different environments. One is the in booth environment as a reference, and、uh, second is the home environment. Well, in the home environment, the subjects were required to check and record. The、uh, the real time noise level using the decibel X app. <clears throat> so as you can see here,、uh, this is the user interface of the app, and the red、uh, you can just read the values here、uh, for the real time、um, level, and you can also record it. And the results after that uh, uh, also another point is that uh, the uh, the subjects were. Needed、uh, to ensure that the values were lower than our recommend limits, so to make sure that the environment is overall silent. The results measured in two different environments were then compared, and in our、um, we expect that the differences to be small and uh, to uh, be uh, to be clinical tolerant. And here are the results of the pure time audiometry. We mainly plotted、uh, the Bart Altman plots,、um, a statistic tool, to、um, to to assess the differences. So we have、uh, here the plot. Here、uh, we have、uh, different shapes to indicate different frequencies. We have in, <coughs> in total three different frequencies, ranging from 0.25 to 4 kilohertz. And the y-axis is the difference is、uh, the bias between the hear HDL is the hearing threshold level, the hearing threshold、uh, measured in two different environments, in the in-booth in-booth environment and home environment. And then the y、uh, the x-axis is the、um, we take the mean values of the two、uh, of the、uh, hearing threshold at two different environments in the BHA. Um. The red、uh, dashed lines here uh, uh, the up,、uh, indicates the upper and the lower limits. So they were calculated as、uh, 1.96 standard deviation. And also,、uh, finally, we will provide、uh, a statistic me measures、uh, root mean square error. Of, Uh, correlation coefficient, bias, and root mean square error, and the、uh, the black line here you see indicates the line of bias, and the shadowed area is the ninety five percentage of confidence interval. So from this plot, we can clearly know that first of all, there was no significant differences between the two environments for the pure audiometry. It tells us that we can simply use the、um, environment.、Uh, we can simply do it in a Home environment and can be、uh, it have equivalent results to the、uh, the in booth environments, and、uh, and also the most of the points align within the upper limits and lower limits, which means that、uh, can validated that the environments can are replaceable to each other.
And here are the results of the categorical learner scaling. Again, we use the same uh, static, statistic plots about Hartman plots. Um, and uh, we use the different shapes to uh, sh point, shapes or points to indicate different frequencies in, at three different frequencies. And uh, for learners category, we use different colors to represent uh, different uh, learners categories. For example, the red, uh, indicate not heard and um, the blue indicates the too loud. Um, the y-axis is the um, medium levels um, assigned to each categorical units in two different environments. So the, for the in-booth environment and for the in-home, for the at-home environment. And the uh, x-axis is the mean values of the two outcome measures. Um, Again, same as before, we have the two different uh, two dash, uh, red dash lines to indicate the upper and lower limits. They are they equals one point nine six standard deviations. And uh, also, we also plotted the line of bias uh, with the black uh, color here, and uh, the shadowed area shadowed area indicates the ninety five percentage of. Um, 95 percentage of confident interval. Also, same as before, we provided uh, we provide we have provided the uh, statistic tables, uh, correlation coefficient bias, and root mean square arrows. So, first of all, um, as you can see, most of points, uh, majority of points, aligned within the upper and lower limits. It tells us that there's no significant differences between the two environments for categorical learner scaling, which means that we can simply use the at remote at home in measurements uh, in a remote and remote at home smartphone measurements, and they have equivalent results to the standard um, uh, in both environment uh, in both measurement. And if we look at the R value, so it has a high, cat uh, it has a larger, uh, higher value at a uh, high category and a lower value at a uh, relatively lower uh, value at a lower category, uh, at a uh, low category. And the BRs decrease with increasing the low, uh, loudness category. For the root, uh, root mean square arrow uh, values, so it has a relatively uh, high or uh, low values at high categories while at uh, have uh, high values at low category. So in conclusion, the smartphone-based at-home audiometric measurements with ambient noise monitoring are comparable to the in-booth measurements. So in the future, we want to include hearing-impaired listeners and to examine the destruction effects. Thank you very much for your attention. You are welcome to um, propose your questions.